It's that time of the week again, people. My name is Big Money, and this here is the Battlefield Top Plays episode number 77. Let's go. Last week's winner was, of course, Adrian Motion Design, as voted for by you. So you can check out this amazing clip as well as last week's episode. I'll link in the description down below as well as one to his YouTube channel. But we are off, this time here starting with Master Beef, nice name there. So he's flying in here in Damavan Peak, got himself the helicopter, doing the good old flank, and uh, well a couple of weeks ago we had someone C4 tanks that came up behind here with the helicopter, but what's he got in mind here? He sees all these enemies down here, parks the chopper, and I just think this is genius. Parks it here and just mows them all down with the minigun. Th this was just brilliant, honestly. I've never seen anyone do this before. It was the fact that he just plonked himself there and just mowed down. I think it was six of them in the initial spray. And one last person comes rushing out, doesn't see the chopper like an idiot, and then ends up killing him. But nice clip. Swiftly moving on, however, we have Dark Betrayed. He's playing Talon Market with the M98B. And uh, these maps are kind of close quarters, so playing with a massive sniper rifle like this is probably not exactly the most suitable gun for this environment. But Dark Betrayed does not care as he comes around here with the 44 Magnum taking these two guys down. And one thing I do love about this clip here is the fact that so many times throughout the clip he is on like his last bullet or the last two bullets or whatever. And he just has a clutch moment that he comes through and kills whoever's in front of him just perfectly. And there's a lot of good accurate shots in this clip here. A few misses here and there as well. Last bullet there, taking that guy, well, someone I think may have kept, nope, he's still alive, he's still alive as he sprays everything away at the guy, the guy could have easily just ran around the corner and killed him there as he had no bullets left in his gun, but as he comes around here, reloads his gun, has a couple of shots to some people, we'll just skip right through that stuff, that was a nice quick headshot there, I don't know how that shot there didn't connect with that guy's forehead, because it was clearly sitting right on top of it, but uh, who are you to question Battlefield as he no scopes this guy here as he ran right past him, shoots this guy in the face with one shot, takes down his friend with a shot to the face also, and as he comes back outside, this guy's just rushed right up to him, last bullet takes him out, two bullets left in the magnum, only needs one however as he takes that guy's face off with it, and uh, as he comes back inside again with his guns reloaded and stuff, takes this guy's head right off his shoulders with the M98B at close range. Sniper at long range there also gets the same treatment with the 75 marksman headshot. As he comes inside to just here, that guy just gets splattered all over the wall right before he shot him. Gets a hit marker on that guy and gets a hit marker on that guy also. And uh, now he's going to look for some more people. How that shot didn't connect, I don't know, but that one does connect and takes his head off again. He's doing a lot of decapitation throughout this clip here. And uh, this for, I, for one, am enjoying this one here as he gets two very quick, nice headshots in a row just there. Especially that second one. That third guy, he was just about to escape and he killed him on the very last step. Getting a nice uh, headshot on him too. Another headshot. That should have been a collateral, but doesn't get any kill. I think he shot that guy twice. Third shot takes him down. This is a very nice succession of shots just here. Taking that guy down through the cloud of smoke. And uh, another guy there poking up around about where that bus is. Coming back inside, gets a headshot on this guy. Gets another shot off on that guy, taking him down also. And uh, this is just an awesome clip. Thank you for submitting this in, Dark Betrayed. Um, uh, I'm glad to show this to all you guys that are watching. And if you think this is the winner, vote it in the link in the description down below, as he does die here at the end. But our third clip up here comes from 09 Reven. And he's just coming out of spawn here. His team's in a spawn trap in Operation Metro Conquest. And he just decides, screw it, we're just going to fire an M320 up in the air. Now let's see what the hell is going on up here. Actually, change of mind, we're going back down here again. No, wait, schizophrenic moment right there as he comes down here. He sees one guy, he starts shooting at him. And does M320 kill three people? That was shot ages ago. So, yeah, that happened. And we move on again here to Cherry HD, this time playing on Damavan Pete with the G36C with the silencer on there. And uh, the fact that it's got a silencer comes in real handy through this clip just here. So he takes one guy down there who ran right past him as he's sitting in his little corner just here. And uh, it's good positional play. He doesn't go charging around like an idiot all too much. He does move when it's necessary. And uh, as he comes into this little corner here to try and make the enemies forget he's there, I don't know. He looks through this little gap. This guy's just in an unfortunate position as he gets shot right in the nuts. And uh, more people just on the other side of this box. Little do they know the death awaits them any second now because Cherry is just hiding behind this box as he runs forward here, flanks them guys, 
it's uh, two or three of them taking down another one over there in the distance in the corner. And uh, again, the silencer is definitely coming into play. The fact that he is not coming up on the minimap, these guys aren't fully aware that he's right there killing all of their teammates. And uh, sometimes they make very rash decisions running across that little road there and getting mowed down in the process. Only manages to win that guy there in the corner. But uh, either him or his friend comes charging forward, he only gets a kill assist on him. Moving around the box again, takes one guy down, looking through this little gap here, sees a tank, and he's like, I'm gonna RPG that tank. That soldier there that walked right in front of it was like, nope. He just, you know, shielded the tank and just took the full flack of the RPG. W only wins that sniper just there, but uh, these guys bunny hopping all the way across the road. It's quite funny when you see that sometimes, the way it pans out. That guy wasn't so lucky as he gets taken down trying to run across the road. Takes down that second guy, realizes behind that little box again looking through this gap he sees a guy in a distance something happened to block his bullets there and uh, as he comes back around kills that guy for the second time but he gets sniped only a short one here from iLarch HD so he's just sitting here in the gunner seat of a helicopter on Gulf of Oman sees some enemies down there launches a TV missile at them and kills six of them yeah nice shot and in celebration he splats himself all over the ground as you do Send crossing now with Asnified. He's got himself a JNG 90 with the iron sights and a silencer on there. Strange setup. Taking this guy's head off here right away as he spawns on his teammate who managed to do all the work getting into the MCOM station. It's pretty hard to get into this one sometimes. So he goes over there and arms the MCOM station and he just plumps himself in the corner over here. And the fact that he's got a silencer on this JNG 90 does really prove to work in his favour as he shoots this guy right up the arse there and his teammates are none the wiser, totally blaming it on the guy in the garage over there as he gets mowed down by the enemies. But uh, he takes guy after guy after guy down there, killing everyone around the MCOM station, defending it very well. And uh, I just thought it was a good bit of defensive play, playing the objective. So, there you are people. And it's a console clip. Now this clip is fucking awesome from Ollie Baka. He's playing Bad Company 2 Vietnam and just snipes a guy out of his jeep there first time. That was, that's quite nice that shot just there. And it's not the only one you're going to see throughout this clip here. For some reason decides to just chuck a grenade at that and boom! Chopper pilot goes flying all the way across the sky as you can see just there. That was pretty awesome. And he just notices he's behind another soldier just here as he just mows him down here with the TT-33 pistol. And uh, here comes a helicopter crash landing down, taking down two people that escaped from the wreckage. And uh, like I said, this clip is awesome. There's a lot of really good accurate shooting throughout this clip here uh, using the M40, I believe. And uh, he uses it very, very well. Jumps around this corner here and shoots this guy who's admiring the woodwork or something. But this guy over here, he definitely cannot handle the NINJA STAB MOTHERFUCKER! After the bunny hop and everything, just stabs him in the back of his head. Nicely played, sir. Nicely played. Like I've said to you guys in the past, this is the Battlefield top play. It's not the Battlefield 3 top play. That's why we're featuring other Battlefield titles every now and again. If you guys record some more Battlefield games and get some awesome stuff, send it into the email and I'll take a look at it. Maybe you can get featured up here on the top play show. But uh, after picking up this M16, gets a couple guys, but that is us. Another short but sweet clip here from Fnatic Gaming. So he comes over to the Cornet Launcher thing, so he just sits here, he okay, fires it at that tank over there who's just sitting nice and still. The guy ran away from it in total panic, and he blows it up, so he gets his 50 points. Now, you, you may not appreciate how hard it is to do this. I, yeah, I've tried, and it's very difficult. Taking down a chopper at such long range with the Cornet Launcher, that was ridiculous. Apologetics here being anything but apologetic as he's playing here on Operation Metro with the PKP uh, as the support class. So as he sits here all set up waiting for the enemies to advance to the next set of MCOM stations coming out of this right hand side uh, door over here out of the Metro, he just mows down everyone as he bipods up and just, just blows the absolute crap out of them there with the PKP. Decides to come down here to the door instead because they're going to be just streaming in here. Taking down three guys initially, over 900 points in his streak just now, put some C4 down there. Uh, all around the entrance there and obviously one out the window for good measure blows that shit up gets himself what appears to be a triple kill just there and a nemesis victim on someone and uh, as he comes back down the stairs again mows this guy down who I don't know what he was doing and even more people are coming in to see what the hell all the commotion is and uh, as he throws himself some ammo down for some reason trying to replenish some C4 I think he whips out the PKP again taking down another one guy nice and now another short one here from WCS Proco. So, we're just sitting in the side of a chopper, right? He's in the side of a chopper, they're just chilling out there. 
doing as they do. Sees a sniper on top of this building here and gets a 444 marksman headshot at the side of a chopper. Pretty damn nice. Good shot, sir. Good shot. If you guys have enjoyed the show, please hit the like button down below. But this is the part of the show where you guys get to vote for who you thought was the best clip of the week. We'll do a little recap and you guys can go to the link in the description and vote on the poll for who had the best clip. Did you feel the best clip was by Master Beef with his genius minigun flank? Dark Betrayed just killing everyone with an M98B. 09 Raven being an absolutely lucky bastard. Cherry HD with his nice positional play. Isle Arch HD getting six people with one TV missile. Ace Nefe PTF on with a GNG 90. Holly back on Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Fanatic Gaming with an insane cornet shot. Apologetics moaning everyone down with a PKP. Or WCS Proco out the side of a chopper with a sniper. So yeah, cast your votes with the link in the description down below to take you to a poll. And also tell me down in the comment section below who you're voting for and why. Why did you feel they were the best clip of the week? I'm interested to know. If you want to send your clips in, please send them into battlefieldtop5plays at gmail.com. You can send in any Battlefield game. And uh, please don't send them to my personal YouTube channel. I do not take submissions there. And uh, I will direct you to that email instead. The simplest way to send your clips in is just to simply upload the video to YouTube and send the link to that email address. Very simple stuff. Doesn't take very long to do at all. And uh, yeah, that's pretty simple. For much more Battlefield goodness, come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Got a lot of good stuff on there that you guys may enjoy if you're a fan of the top plays. And uh, yeah, but until next time, I've been Big Mooney, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.